In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Pin animation feature in Adobe After Effects. And the best part is you can do this tutorial even if you've never used After Effects. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. All right, Adobe After Effects is one of my favorite programs for doing simple or sometimes complex animation. And Adobe keeps making it easier to animate as a beginner in After Effects, the latest example being with the puppet pin feature. So let's get into it. I'm working in After Effects version 24.1.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. Let's start by creating a folder for your project. Name your folder accordingly and put two folders inside, one called Photoshop or whatever program you're using to edit your image, and you put your image in there. And call the second After Effects. Create another folder inside the After Effects folder and call it Zero Finals. This is where you'll put your final render. Open your image in Photoshop or whatever program you use to create it. So first, separate your image into layers, which I did here in Photoshop. If you have a picture that you're trying to animate, you need to make sure the subject is on a layer of its own. So here, I have my dog on its own layer. So first, bring your image into After Effects by clicking in this gray area here in the Project panel. Navigate to your Photoshop file, and when you get this prompt, choose Composition, Retain Layer Styles. Make sure this says Editable Layer Styles here, and hit OK. Before we get too far, let's make sure your project is saved to your After Effects folder by going to File, Save As, Save As, navigating to your After Effects folder, naming your project, and hitting save. Now in your project panel, you will see a folder with all of your Photoshop file layers in it, and a composition below that that has all of those layers in there already. Double click on your composition to open it up in the timeline. If you need a little more real estate for your timeline, uncheck these icons here in the lower left. So first, select the layer you want to animate. Then bring your playhead to the top of your timeline and go up to the Puppet Pin button, which is this little pin icon in the upper left. Click on it and hold and select Puppet Position Pin Tool. Then you want to click on your image in the places where you want your character to animate. In my case, I want to make my dog dance. I want his ears to flop around and his arms and his legs to move. And also, I want his tail to wag. So I'll put seven pins here like so. Now, once you do that, go down and take a look at your new pins in your timeline. You can find them here. Expand your character's layer by toggling the arrow on the left. And under Effects, Mesh 1, Deform, you will see the new pins that you just created. The pins are numbered in the order that you created them. Next, move your playhead ahead a little bit, so you can set an animation keyframe for your next pin. Then, click on your first pin so it's highlighted here in the Composition panel and you'll see it light up in your composition window. Mine is here. Then press V on your keyboard for the Move tool. The Move tool is also located up here at the top. And move the dot in your composition window to your new desired position. You'll notice that After Effects has automatically created another keyframe for the position for your pin here in the timeline. P.S. If you want to start over, you can click the stopwatch here and it will erase all of your keyframes. And if you click this little dot over here, it'll create a brand new keyframe without you having to move it in the composition window. Now, if you play down your timeline by bringing your playhead back to the top and hitting spacebar to play, you will see that part of your character animate. So what you want to do is make sure you select your pin and go through your timeline, moving the playhead, then moving the pin dots. After Effects will create a new keyframe for you each time you do this. It calls 
out to me. Now, I want this animation to happen a little faster, so I'm going to do a little trick to move all of my keyframes closer. To do this, you can highlight all of your keyframes, click on the last one and hold Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and slide them closer together. Okay, I'm done creating all my keyframes. However, if I play it down, it looks a little wonky. So I'm going to show you another little trick to make your animation look more organic. Easy Ease is a keyframe assistant in After Effects which automatically adjusts the speed of change as motion advances toward and retreats from a keyframe. What that means is it makes it look better. And we're going to use it here to make this animation look more organic. To use Easy Ease, select all your keyframes and control click on a Mac, right click on a PC. Go to Keyframe Assistant and choose Easy Ease. You'll see all of your keyframes turn into this little hourglass. Now, if you play your timeline down, you'll see those speed changes make your animation look just a bit better. Let's go through the process of exporting for those of you who need a quick review. Export your animation by selecting the area you want to export with this lower bar here. Go to File, Export, Add to Media Encoder. If this video is going on YouTube and it's a 4K file, choose H.264 Vimeo 2160 4K Ultra HD here. Choose your destination here. Make sure your file is going to your zero finals folder that you created at the beginning of this tutorial. Rename your file here and hit the green arrow. Once your render is done, click back on your After Effects project and save your work by hitting Command S on a Mac, Control S on a PC, then quit by hitting Command Q on a Mac, Control Q on a PC. Okay, I hope you like this super quick intro to the Puppet Pin feature in Adobe After Effects. There are a ton of cool features in After Effects and this video barely scratched the surface. So if you wanna continue learning After Effects, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted and I will catch you next time.